Welcome to Chronically Online with G&G, the monthly talk show where we talk about entertainment and trending topics online. I'm Grace DeRovey. And I'm Gian Mercado. Get your popcorn ready. Today we're covering the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber, and Justin Bieber drama going all the way back to 2009. The tea is hot because it's been boiling since I was seven years old. In order to cover it all, we need to start at the very beginning in 2009. Haley met Justin at the singer's My World concert. The two were introduced by Haley's dad, Stephen Baldwin. Haley went from being a believer to a beaver. I guess you can say the model has been manifesting this all along. Moving on to 2011, Bieber and Gomez make their debut as a couple at the Vanity Fair Oscars party. In that same month, Haley and Justin pose for another photo at the premiere of his movie, Never Say Never. But in 2012, the two took a break for the first time after more than a month, citing crazy schedules. The two reconnected in 2013 and dated until 2015. In an interview with V Magazine, Selena stated, quote, I was 18 years old and it was my first love. I would never take it back in a million years. At the end of 2015, Haley and Justin were in a four-month-long relationship before Selena was spotted at the singer's concert. Shortly after, Bieber shared a throwback photo of the couple on Instagram with the caption, Feels. That's kind of dirty yeah. to Haley. In 2017, after Selena's 10-month relationship with The Weeknd ended, she was spotted having lunch with Justin. U.S. Weekly announced the couple was back together. The Weeknd released a song, Call Out My Name, in 2018 with the lyrics, quote, I almost cut a piece of myself for your life. Guess I was just another pit stop until you made up your mind. Fans speculate his lyrics refer to Selena Gomez's kidney transplant she had in 2017 due to her battle with lupus. Her, fran her friend Francia Racia donated one of her kidneys to save the singer's life. I remember that song was really popular when it came out. Me too. And in March 2018, U.S. Weekly confirmed that the couple were over for good with an insider telling the magazine that Gomez, quote, chose her happiness over her relationship with Justin. A couple months later, Justin and Haley were back together in June and then got engaged in July, only one month later. The two exchanged vows in a New York courthouse in September 2018. A year later, the couple has an official wedding inviting all their friends and family for a celebration in South Carolina. A month later, Selena released her song, Lose You to Love Me. In the song, Selena sings... In two months, you replace us like it was easy. It made me think I deserved it in the thick of healing. Hours after the song released, Haley posted a song on her Instagram story titled I'll Kill You. Fans speculate the post was a dig at Selena, which I think is a bit of a stretch. Yeah. And then in a 2020 interview on Ellen, Justin po um, joked to, Jemmy, to Demi Lovato that his marriage to Haley felt like a, quote, arranged marriage with how the Baldwin family set them up. In May 2022, Selena and Haley both shared remarkably similar skincare videos in which Selena was accused of mocking Justin's wife. The Rare Beauty founder had to make a statement saying there was no bad intentions in the video. In September 2022, Haley went on the Call Her Daddy podcast, and although she never mentioned Selena by name, the model insinuated that there was never cheating in her, in her and Justin's relationship and that there was respect between everyone. In November 2022, Haley and Selena posed for a picture together at the annual Academy Museum of Motion Picture Gala. This shocked the internet because this was the first time the two publicly acknowledged each other. On January 9, 2023, Haley and Kendall Jenner posted a TikTok with the audio, I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. And fans speculated that the TikTok was about recent magazine headlines criticizing Selena's weight gain. Haley denies the TikTok was directed towards Selena and claims she was just having a girl's night. On February 22nd, Selena shared a video about, of herself joking about how she over-laminated her eyebrows. On the same day, Kylie Jenner shared a photo of her eyebrows on her Instagram story with the caption, this was an accident, before adding fuel to the fire and sharing a FaceTime screenshot of her and Haley Bieber's eyebrows. Many people took to social media to comment on Haley and the Jenner's mean girl energy. Selena gained 10 million followers while Kylie lost a million followers on Instagram over the drama, making Selena dethrone Kylie as the most followed person on Instagram. 
On the same day, an old video of Hailey Bieber dissing Taylor Swift by gagging at her mention resurfaced with Selena commenting, commenting, quote, so sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. People online did their research and found old tweets by Hailey adding Selena. One tweet from 2011 even states, quote, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. That's a little strange. I can't get over that I, one. Yeah, it is very strange. And people are also finding uncanny and uncanny similarities between Selena's cooking show, tattoos, interviews, and their beauty brands. In 2020, Selena created the cooking show called Selena Plus Chef, which takes place in her house and features episodes with her grandma. Two years later, Haley created a cooking show titled What's in My Kitchen that also takes place in her house and includes her grandma. While Selena and Justin dated, she was gifted a Curse of J ring. Now, Haley has a tattoo of a Curse of J on her finger. The comparisons don't stop there. Selena has a Curse of G tattoo behind her ear to honor her sister Gracie. Coincidentally, Haley also has a Curse of G behind her ear for unknown reasons. And after the drama has been accumulating for years and has been the most talked about topic online this month, Selena posted on her Instagram story that Haley Bieber reached out to her due to experiencing death threats and negativity. Selena stated, quote, I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Haley Bieber then thanked Selena and expressed how things can be taken out of context or constructed differently than how they were intended. The model finished her post by saying, quote, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. I think this drama was kind of all over the place, and personally, I think there's too many... I think it's been stretched a little too far. Ex exactly, but it was all over our TikTok. Yes. So. But before we go, we promised to check how we did with our Oscar predictions. I only got one right. I only got best costume design for Black Panther. But that was a good guess yeah. because I got seven right. And that was only because I picked everything everywhere all at once for winning all these awards. So I got best actress, best actor, best supporting actress, best supporting actor, best director, and best picture. And everything everywhere all at once swept the Oscars with seven total wins. The multiverse movie became the most awarded film in history with 158 wins from major critic organizations and award shows. This spot was previously held by The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King with 101 wins. That's really surprising, but I'm so happy it won. <laughs> Michelle Yeoh became the first Asian actress to win Best Actress at the Oscars. There's other first-time winners, including Brendan Fraser, Kihu Kwan, and Jamie Lee Curtis. All Quiet on the Western Front took home the second most awards with four wins. Elvis and the Banshees of Sharon took home no awards despite having buzz online. I was a little surprised at that one. Me too. Well, we hope you tune in next month for the next edition of Chronically Online with G&G. See, See you, you next time. time.